Introduction In the pulsating landscape of contemporary art, few names resonate as powerfully as Jean-Michael Basquiat. Born in 1960 in New York, Basquiat emerged from the city streets to become an icon of artistic expression, challenging conventions, and shaping the visual narrative of his time. In this narrative journey, we will explore the presentation of the theme and the singular importance of Basquiat in the vibrant art scene. Basquiat's journey began on the streets of Brooklyn, where his art, often associated with graffiti, became a raw and authentic voice amid the tumultuous 1970s. Presenting Basquiat as a self-taught young artist, whose works brimmed with social criticism, symbolism, and a unique fusion of words and images, was a shock to the artistic tradition of the time. His ability to capture the essence of the streets, combined with intellectual acumen, quickly captured the attention of critics and admirers. The significance of Basquiat in the art scene transcends his innovative technique. His meteoric rise coincided with the emergence of the hip-hop movement of which he became an active participant. Basquiat not only reflected urban culture, but also influenced it, challenging the established boundaries of elitist art. His presence in art galleries and on the streets of New York represented a unique bridge between high culture and counterculture, demystifying artistic space and inviting new audiences to engage with visual expression. Basquiat's work is marked by a strong social critique manifested in themes such as racism, social inequality, and oppression. He portrays life on the streets of New York with its marginalized and excluded characters such as beggars, drug addicts, and the homeless. At the Basquiat's importance in the art scene is largely due to his ability to unite elements of popular culture and erudite culture. He created a unique visual language that blends elements of street art, African-American culture, and pop culture influencing a generation of contemporary artists. Furthermore, Basquiat's work is characterized by a strong social critique that remains relevant to this day. It depicts life on the streets of New York in a raw and realistic way, showing the harsh reality of societies excluded and marginalized. His work is a protest against social inequality and oppression, a denunciation of the violence and injustice that still persist in our society. Entering the gallery world, Basquiat became a symbol of diversity in art. As an African-American artist in a predominantly white environment, he challenged racial stereotypes and fueled discussions about identity and representation. His work was not only aesthetically captivating, but also a means of dialogue on pressing social issues. Basquiat used his canvases as words, conveying a message that echoed beyond frames and infiltrated the collective consciousness. Basquiat's importance is also evident in his remarkable collaboration with the iconic Andy Warhol. The merging of two seemingly distinct worlds, Basquiat's expressionism and Warhol's pop art, generated a unique synthesis of styles and meanings. This partnership not only raised Basquiat's profile, but also challenged the boundaries between street art and fine art, culminating in works that transcended conventional categories the contemporary relevance of Basquiat is indisputable. His influence resonates not only in galleries, but also in popular culture, inspiring musicians, filmmakers, and designers. Basquiat's legacy is not just aesthetic, but also a poignant reminder that art is a powerful means of expression and reflection. His presence continues to influence a new generation of artists seeking to break barriers and challenge norms. In summary, the presentation of the theme and the importance of Basquiat in the art scene are intrinsically intertwined with his unique ability to transcend borders and give voice to authenticity. His art is not just a reflection of his life, but a lasting echo that resonates through the decades, challenging us to question, delve deeper, and above all, to express origins and influences. Basquiat was born in 1960 the son of a Haitian father and a Puerto Rican mother, in a backdrop of social and cultural changes. Basquiat's childhood was marked by incessant curiosity, a creative spark that would find expression on the city streets he called Urban Walls became his first canvas, where he, at a young age, began scribbling, leaving his mark on the ever-evolving cityscapes. 
Basquiat's formative years were heavily influenced by a mother who nurtured his creativity. Matilda Basquiat, an art enthusiast, brought a wealth of cultural influences into the home. It was she who introduced young Basquiat to the vast world of the arts, from literature to music, cultivating fertile ground for the blossoming of his artistic expression. However, Basquiat's childhood was not without challenges. At the age of seven, an injury resulted in a significant hospital stay, a period that temporarily removed him from the bustling streets of Brooklyn. During this recovery, Basquiat's mother gifted him a copy of the anatomy book Gray's Anatomy, an influence that would prove crucial in his later work. Detailed medical drawings infiltrated his psyche, adding an anatomical and visceral dimension to his art. Basquiat's youth was marked by a rebellion against traditional educational norms. After being expelled from high school, he found refuge in the artistic and cultural circles of New York. This period of his life witnessed an immersion in the vibrant subcultures of the city, from the rise of hip-hop to the effervescence of the underground art scene. The streets became his classroom, and graffiti became his notes to the world. Exploring Basquiat's childhood and youth sheds light on the catalyst for his art. The intersection between personal experiences and the tumultuous cultural context, the fusion of his multicultural roots, urban environment, and complex personal experiences reveals itself in every stroke of his works, transcending mere aesthetics to tell an intimate and societal narrative. In summary, Basquiat's childhood and youth not only formed the foundation of his art, but also resonated with the tensions and dynamics of a vibrant New York. By exploring this crucial period, we discover the seeds of his genius planted on the streets of Brooklyn, germinating and blossoming into an artistic legacy that continues to challenge, inspire, and transcend borders. Jean-Michael Basquiat's genius is not merely an individual expression, but an intricate mosaic of cultural and artistic influences that, like interwoven threads, formed the unique tapestry of his unmistakable style. Analyzing these influences is to delve into the depths of Basquiat's soul, revealing the complex intersection between the personal and the cultural that forged the revolutionary artist. From an early age, Basquiat was immersed in a melting pot of Afro-Caribbean and Latin American cultures absorbing rhythms, myths, and iconographies that would later become the raw material of his art. The syncretism of these influences is reflected in his works, where traces of Haitian voodoo, Aztec symbolism, and African mythology converge in unexpected and provocative ways. Music, especially the emergence of hip-hop on the streets of New York, played a seminal role in shaping Basquiat's style. The pulsating beats, raw oral tradition, and improvised aesthetics of hip-hop resonate in the lines and colors of Basquiat's works. His connection with this emerging culture was not only artistic but also an affirmation of identity and resistance, a response to the urban and social context surrounding him. Poetry also occupied a significant space in Basquiat's repertoire of influences. His mother, Mathilde, introduced him to a wide range of literature from an early age. Beatnik poetry, the writings of William Burroughs, and the creative explosion of the literary movement of the time nurtured Basquiat's literary passion. This connection between word and image, text and canvas became a distinctive feature of his style. The frequent presence of words and phrases in his works is not just aesthetic but an extension of the cultural dialogue Basquiat sought to maintain. Analyzing Basquiat's artistic influences is inseparable from his foray into New York galleries. Exposure to works by artists like Picasso, Cy Toomley, and Jean Dubuffet brought new dimensions to his artistic approach. Basquiat did not confine himself to a single tradition. Instead, he absorbed and reinterpreted styles, amalgamating high and low art in a way that challenged conventional categorizations. African and African-American art also played a crucial role in shaping Basquiat's stylistic formation. The symbolism, tribal masks, and raw expressiveness found in these cultural contexts echo in the forms and figures that inhabit his canvases. Basquiat not only paid homage to his roots, but also challenged stereotypes and redefined the narrative of contemporary African-American art. In summary, 
the analysis of the cultural and artistic influences that shaped Basquiat's style reveals a process of cultural alchemy, where seemingly disparate elements fused to create a unique visual language. The eclecticism of his influences is not just a stylistic feature, but a testament to the transformative power of art when rooted in the richness of human experience. By understanding these influences, we discover that each stroke of Basquiat's brush is an intertwined cultural narrative, an echo of diverse voices reverberating through his canvases, echoing the vibrant pulse of an artist ahead of his time. Rise to stardom. In a tumultuous New York, buzzing with cultural effervescence and social transformations, Jean-Michel Basquiat emerged as a disruptive force in the art scene of the 1980s. His entrance, more than a mere debut, was a creative explosion that challenged conventions and redefined the landscape of contemporary art. In this narrative, we unveil the chapters of this urban odyssey that marked Basquiat's triumphant entry into the epicenter of artistic expression. The stage was the Lower East Side, an enclave of creativity and counterculture where Basquiat, hailing from Brooklyn, found fertile ground to sow his unique vision. His journey began on the streets, where graffiti and visual messages became the first whispers of his artistic language. Urban walls, palimpsests of a city in transformation, became the first scrolls on which Basquiat imprinted his irreverent mark. Basquiat's entry into New York's art scene was like a storm, announced by his visual interventions on building facades and train cars. His graffiti, marked by bold strokes and enigmatic symbols, were not just an aesthetic manifestation, but a bold statement in urban landscapes challenged by decay and renewal. The streets became his studio, and each stroke was a cry of resistance, a rebellion against the gray uniformity of the city. The transition of Basquiat from the streets to the more traditional art spaces was a journey that witnessed his meteoric rise. Entry into artistic circles occurred almost organically, propelled by his magnetic energy and the authenticity overflowing from his work. The Mud Club and Club and Club 57, epicenters of New York's counterculture, were the first stages where Basquiat began interacting with artists, musicians, and figures that would shape his trajectory. It was in this context that Basquiat encountered a seminal figure in his journey. Andy Warhol, the meeting between these two icons, in 1981 sealed not only an artistic collaboration, but also a symbolic milestone in Basquiat's entry into the pantheon of contemporary art. Warhol already established, saw in Basquiat a vitality and authenticity that resonated with his own roots in street culture. This alliance not only opened doors to exhibitions and galleries, but also catalyzed Basquiat's consolidation as an undeniable force. The decisive moment came in 1982, when Basquiat held his first solo exhibition at the Anina Nozai Gallery. The success was thunderous, and his works, now transferred from urban concrete to gallery walls, became objects of fascination and speculation. Basquiat's entry into the commercial art circuit did not dilute his message. Instead, it amplified it, casting a raw light on the intersection of art, the market, and popular culture. The New York art scene, then dominated by movements like neo-expressionism, was rejuvenated by Basquiat's entry. His unique approach, a fusion of cultural symbolism, social criticism, and visceral aesthetics challenged the stylistic trends of the time he did not conform. Instead, he defied expectations, inaugurating a chapter where art was not just observed but lived and experienced. Reflecting on Basquiat's entry into the New York art scene, we glimpse more than a singular event. We witness the eruption of a visionary whose art transcended physical and conceptual barriers, invading the collective consciousness of the city and beyond. His entry was not just triumphant. It was a cultural earthquake echoing through time, redefining the very essence of artistic expression in the contemporary era. Jean-Michael Basquiat, with his early significant works, launched himself into the art scene with a pioneering energy that, in retrospect, signaled an imminent revolution. In this account, we will explore the pivotal pieces of this creative puzzle and the early recognition that solidified Basquiat as a rising icon. 
Basquiat's early works, many of them gestated on the streets of the Lower East Side, reflected a bold fusion of cultural influences and expressionist traits. One of the inaugural pieces that captured attention was untitled Ignite 1981, where Basquiat's vibrant palette and enigmatic iconography merged, foreshadowing the distinctive style that would define his career. This work, like a pictorial outcry on urban walls, highlighted Basquiat's disruptive potential in the art scene. Another emblematic work from this early phase was Boy and Dog in a Johnny Pump 1982 where the influence of street culture, surrealism, and autobiographical elements converged. The use of symbols such as crowns, skulls, and words written in his works began to crystallize as an integral part of his artistic lexicon. Early recognition, in this case, was not limited to aesthetics. It was a recognition of the visceral authenticity flowing from his composition. One of the key works echoing during this period was Irony of Negro Policeman, 1981. This painting with its provocative portrait and layers of meaning exemplifies Basquiat's ability to confront social issues in a visceral yet aesthetically engaging manner. The social critique imbued in his early works was not an accessory, it was the pulsating heart of his artistic narrative. Recognition for Basquiat in this early phase was not unanimous. Some observers, blinded by resistance to emerging art forms, underestimated the impact of his creations. However, this dissent did not dim the incandescent brilliance of his early works. Recognition, even accompanied by controversy, planted the seeds of notoriety that would grow exponentially in the years to come. The symbiotic relationship between Basquiat and the New York art scene began to solidify. Criticism initially cautious gave way to admiration in the face of the raw originality emanating from his canvases. Basquiat's recognition was not just a response to what was being displayed. It was an anticipation of what was to come. It was the appreciation of a genius in gestation. In conclusion, Basquiat's early significant works were not just an entry into the art scene. They were a bold affirmation of a voice that would transcend conventional barriers. Each brushstroke, each written word, was a step toward the consolidation of early recognition, often whispered in the corners of counterculture, was the prelude to an artistic symphony that would resonate through decades, echoing the genius of John Michael Basquiat in the firmament of contemporary art. And thus, we conclude the first part of the video about the artist in question. Don't forget to leave your like, comment, and share your opinions on the video. Additionally, be sure to watch the upcoming parts that are on the way. Keep participating in this artistic journey. Share it with others who share your taste. And always remember to stay connected to continue with these unfolding developments. See you in a little while. Art.